name's Jason and welcome to my When I Work tutorial. When I Work is one of the most popular scheduling apps and it is perfect for anyone. So basically whether you're in the restaurant industry, retail industry, education or hospitality, you'll find this app or this platform helpful. And one of the major standout features of this platform is you'll be able to not only schedule your set up a schedule for your employee, but you'll also be able to set up a payroll. And you can get started for completely free as they offer a 14 day free trial period. And their platform is also beginner friendly when it comes on to navigating and set up. So to get started, you're going to first enter your full name, email address and tap on start free trial. Or you can choose to sign up using your Google account. Once you're signed up, you will be redirected to a dashboard just like this. And I will be showing you how to navigate around your dashboard. So the first thing we're going to do is create our first shift. So you're going to tap on start. Once you have tapped on start, you will be redirected to this page and you can see a calendar right here. So you can choose which day and you can also choose the individual you would like to assign the shift to. So you could tap on add new users right here and you could add in a new employee name. After adding in their name, you could tap on the plus for the date. So let's say for example, Monday the 29th. After tapping on that, you can choose who you would like to assign it to. Then you could tap on the time right here. So let's say for example, a shift from 9 a.m. to 5 p.m. I can select that right there. And you could also add in the break time that you'll be offering. After doing that, you can select their position right there. So you can select any one of these positions or you could choose to create a new position. After doing that, you can add tags if you want. You can also add the shift task list or you could choose to create a shift task list. So we could tap on create right there. Then you'll tap on shift task. After tapping on shift task, we're going to tap on continue. Once you have tapped on continue, you can give your list a name. So I'll just give it a name, for example, test, then tap on continue. After doing that, you could give the task a name. So let's say, for example, just wash. Then we'll tap on add. Then I'm going to tap on next. After doing that, you could tap on finish set up. So now we can add a shift task list right there. So we can tap on test. And then from here, you could add shift notes if you want. After you're finished, you can tap on save and publish. So you can see it right there. And now once you have published it, it will automatically be displayed to the other user if you want. Another thing that you can also use this platform for, for example, if we were to hover over the top right hand corner of the navigation bar, from here, your employees will be able to request a time off. So they could tap on request time off right there. And then from there, they can enter the time that they'd like to be off, as you can see right here, and then tap on send requests. And you in turn will also be able to view time off requests by tapping on time off requests right here. You can also view shift requests as just like what I was showing you earlier, your employees will be able to set up shift requests and you'll be able to open and view them as a manager, as you can see right here. So this is definitely a good platform to use, whether you're a manager or an employee to set up quickly. And also by tapping on the clock icon right here, you could tap on that. And from there, you'll be able to view attendance. You can also tap on the dollar sign. And from there, you'll be able to set up the payroll, as you can see right there. And that's basically it. Hope you found this tutorial helpful and informative. If you did, be sure to hit the like button and subscribe. 